Good evening. You are watching State of Business, Art TV's prime time business news bulletin. And I am Rukshi Panditaratna. Let's take a look at the headlines first. Despite reforms, Sri Lanka slips in overall rank in ease of doing business. Minister Sagala says impartial investigation will be conducted into deaths of Jaffna undergraduates. Now the news in detail. Despite reforms, Sri Lanka's overall ease of doing business rank has slipped from 109 in 2016 to 110 in 2017. World Bank said over the past year, Sri Lanka made progress in two reform areas that are covered by the Doing Business report, namely starting a business and protecting minority investors. It said that the improvements, while important, were not enough to stop a decline in the country's overall rank. The World Bank added that this is not necessarily an indicator that the country has slipped down in rank, but is more a reflection that other peer economies have undertaken a larger number of reforms in the business environment during the same period. UPFA MP Mahinda Yapa Abevardhana says certain ministers and MPs who have been raising voice against corruption are trying to obstruct the COPE committee proceedings. Addressing the media, he said that the COPE report, which will be published soon, might include the real story behind alleged central bank bond scam. <laughs> Make a varad the Kale, Raji, Sri Lanka, Mahabankwe, Hitapunila Dari. Insa Egulan time make a make a Dandu Maktin to Samagama Kilakiane, Velandama Kerala, Labia Gandapuladang, Unam de Apicuna Labagan. Rata with Rakneme, Tamanta Vikuna Puluang, Munoade, Hamadem, Vikula Labagan, the Puluang, Aitanakama, Samago Kilakian. Api Viswasakarno, Janata in Tipermuni, Ape Sunil Handuneti, Sabahatuma, make a Megana, Apaksha Pati, Tirne Ganimi. Eka Egana pe Viswasakino. Namut Etumata me Tirne Gana deni ne. Make a Kadaka Palkaran head. Meanwhile, State Minister Sujiva Sena Singh expressed views on COPE controversy at the Cabinet Media Briefing today. Only one report. A report ticket and Hitandago, COPE Committee Samas, we said the Nikinon, Kabut Greta Pulua, make a pick in Naka, Venema, Eka Kalakaturan, Eka Tatulinok, Varta. One report. That's all. Mukadu warta hatar bahag dah ane. Ini warta itu le a a a a kilo o nama anushaan karunya itu kerana pulau. Apa itu Arjuna Mahendra itu kawat taraksha kan awastawa ikne. Palem ini mama tama yang kiu, meten confident atau interest tiennok kira. Anu kar tu mage naya kini mana ini bandung kara sambandeng katu itu kerana. Itu nama confident atau interest tiennok kira. Apa pilih kat ta. Plans are underway to bring in development special provisions bill to accelerate the development process in the country. It will be prepared for making provisions for creating a national policy on all subjects. It will also facilitate the development and for economy development, establishment of the development agency, policy making for rural modernization and regional development. Now we have few more cabinet decisions in brief. Cabinet spokesperson Minister Gayanta Karunantilaka said that the government will adopt the Capital Market Strategy 2016-2020 that proposes regulatory and development actions needed for the industry. The minister said that the government believes that although the capital market plays a major role in economic development and sustainable development in rising economies in the world, Sri Lanka has not used its potentials. Hence, the capital market of Sri Lanka will be converted into an efficient and interesting place for share issuers, investors, institutions and mediators under this strategy. Cabinet has approved a proposal to release Rs 4,055.1 million as its last portion to the central bank by the Treasury for the repayment of security deposit holders of Golden Key Credit Card Company. Already, Rs 544.3 million and Rs 3,945.6 million have been released respectively for first and second portions by the Treasury. Accordingly, the assets of Golden Key Credit Card Company and its subsidiaries will be disposed and the proceeds will be credited with the Treasury. See you after this break. Welcome back. Minister of Law and Order Sagala Ratnayaka says the government is really concerned about the death of two university students in Jaffna. Addressing the media at the parliamentary complex, the minister said an impartial investigation is being conducted into the incident.
But until the investigations are complete, we have to give the benefit of the doubt. Both parties will have their stories, but the investigations will reveal what really happened. There will be forensics reports. There will be reports that the coroner, the post-mortem reports will be considered. Uh, statements given by the police officers have been recorded and investigations are going on. It will be a very fair investigation. There are some initial reports coming in, but it's too early for me to speak to the media about it. Charges will be filed on the offence committed, on the crime that they've committed. Minister of Megapolis and Western Development Patali Champikaranamaka says that the new Colombo International Financial City project will give a long-term economic benefit to the country. The Chinese-funded financial city project will cover a landfill of 269 hectares. The Port City project, which has suspended in early 2015 due to several issues, was replaced with a new tripartite agreement by the present government. This was signed after conducting a new environmental study. According to the new agreement, the project will be handed over to the developer Czech Port City Colombo on a 99-year rent. <laughs> Evagema eat a Yabada, Pradana, Vanija, Nagare, Bereva, what eat a Budanagano, Evagema, Guantutupola, Saha, Me, Vara and Agare, Yakaran, Adivegi, Marge, Api, Pali, good sitter, Evara and Agaretama, Dikarana, Balaburtu, Eano, Mahamar, the Pasukamino, Evagema, Me, Nagare, Gudanagana, Kisima, Kalikasala, Promania, Api, Kolo, Mahanagas, about a barakaranine, make a rate, Artike, Kotasak Pamanakneve. Prate Artike, Idriate at the Ganyana, Maha Enjima, Babat. May Nagare Parivatani Giri, my Ape Balapurtu. See you after this break. Welcome back. Subdued retail activities dragged the indices lower during trading at the Colombo Stock Exchange today. All share price index dipped 2.08 to end trading at 6,435 and S&P SL20 index shed 1.65 to close the session at 3,586. Turnover was to 312 million rupees with 10.3 million shares changing hands. Let's take a look at the day's forex rates. Thank you for watching State of Business. See you tomorrow at the same time. Till then, take care. Good night.